God who used to be the one we looked up to. He was like the phoenix, you know, he like came out of the ashes and became this like beautiful flying thing, you know, I called him the, the Michelangelo of Williamsburg. Well, this was Larry's workshop. It was uh, this was a space I was using for storage when I first built the place when Larry first moved in. I was just a bunch of construction shit piled in here. Jackie, he's a real guy. I think that was the biggest thing. I always felt better when I left seeing him than I did before I saw him. Did you read today's paper? And I says, oh my God, what did Larry do now? So she knew. <laughs> and there on the front page is Larry smiling and handcuffs with the state troopers there. He was arrested for holding up the banks and bills. Knowing his stuff, knowing what he built, he deserved that because actually I knew those bikes can be ridden, can be they perform and everything. But uh, I, I really was happy. He's the one who deserved it. I don't know anybody, another guy, who so to be. I don't know about that. But look at those bikes, they don't look like much to me. Like they will make it day in New York, you know? But... He wasn't like one of these guys who, you know, like kept his stuff to himself, you know, and let the younger guys figure it out for themselves, you know? He would, you know, he would be, oh, you got to do this, but don't do that, and I use these, and maybe you don't want to use that. And but more seriously, you know, it was more when it was a little bit like a, kind of a troubling thing, you know. He'd, he'd always say, this sort of damn thing just want to fall on my head right when I get to the top, you know. And it's like, it's so weird, because it's pretty much exactly what happened that day, you know. That day was like, you know, the chain of mystery and like everything that went into that bike and the whole, you know, like, be comfortable with the mystery. Like, he used to always tell me that when I'd get worked up over anything. You know, you know he'd, he'd seen so much of it that I guess he really saw the humor in life. And somebody told him, I don't know if it was Paul or Bob or something, you know, you don't need to do this, it's over. It's like, no, 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 just one more run. Some of the stuff he did was like, oh, well, you know? We should all be so lucky as to go out doing something that we love, you know? What I'm sure everybody's saying is how how we touch that, you know? And that's what we, let's, like, there's a lot of shit we can do. Like, the bikes are nice, but it's really, I'm sure that the, the more stories of how, like, how he was as a person, that those are the ones that are, that we take the most from.